Hello and welcome to my newest video. Today I'm going to take a quick first look at Cryptic Conjure, I think that's how you pronounce this game. Now this is a really interesting and a unique game as you will quickly see soon when I show you the trailer itself. So let's click on this one because it's running I think on the Ethereum blockchain as most of the games I do videos on and most of the crypto games are obviously out there. Actually it tells you here NFT are the ERC721 tokens and it has its own blockchain economy. A land of mystery, spellcrafting, advanced, collaborative development, no new coin, no ICO. Oh, it's actually running on the Unreal Engine, so that's already showing a lot of promise to me. Cryptic Conjure is being developed by an established studio and a veteran team prof proficient in both Unreal Engine 4 and blockchain technology. CC's economy is built on Ethereum with responsive real-time gameplay, really, really nice, achieved via our costume Oracle. Our DAP Oracle provides two-way synchronization with the Ethereum blockchain and a modern game server. So it kind of also speaks to the whole scalability of the whole thing. Maybe it also kind of has the same or an equal similar function to a sidechain. So similar to Loom Network, for example, no new tech to build, no new coin. We use Ethereum as our universal currency. That's definitely interesting because a lot of games, they just invent so many different tokens and in-game currencies just to kind of have full control of the assets so it kind of defeats the purpose of having blockchain technology and having 100% ownership if it's kind of completely stored um, based on a token that might not just even be worth anything as long as the game is not really successful so yeah really interesting let's quickly watch the trailer I hope you can actually hear the sound so it's only 30 seconds long look at these graphics that's actually really cool The video itself is not really at oh no it actually changed quality look at this and just go from here again always sets back the quality unfortunately of the video itself but it doesn't have anything to do with the game I mean obviously it do it's not top notch quality um, well the news of or the creme de la creme of uh, graphics but it doesn't have to if the gameplay itself is fun it actually does look like it's a lot of fun and it's kind of fast paced, it kind of only uses cryptocurrency or blockchain technology where it's really necessary and beneficial to the whole idea of uh, connecting blockchain technology with video games. Really like the idea to be honest. Um, so yeah, Magical Cyberpunk, the game world Kira or Kyra was long ago bound by the Magical Addict has, has taken hold Oh, by the magical addict has taken hold, set forth long ago. The addict limits the power of the spell. The more people are able to use it, the weaker the spell becomes an entity. The Ir Iridium Corporation has risen up to take advantage of the societal element. Oh, that's really interesting. I like it. Also, that they don't really do an ICO always speaks uh, really positively, in my opinion, of this game about crypto cryptic conjure we'll get into more detail in a moment but it's hard crypto conjure is a game about secrets information is power of course and that's true in most games if you know a good strategy for beating a boss you triumph you triumph easily if you know where to find a secret item you become notably strong if you know the lay of the land you reach your destination unharmed but in those games why not tell your friends what you've learned why not share that information on the internet and very quickly the information is out there everyone knows that the sense of discovery is gone while you might appreciate the advantage it feels hollow unearned oh, okay what if there were a way to change that okay that's really interesting to be honest cryptic conjure is a multiplayer fantasy action rpg based on the ethereum blockchain players will team up with up to three other players and journey into dual elementally elementally themed dungeon using a large variety of spells to combat massive creatures but it's those spells really that make things unique. In game you can gather resources and red drops and after a bit of time craft a wholly new unique spell. That spells is yours to use but with it come 20 uniquely generated essence. So that's all running on the blockchain I guess because these are assets. Um, those essence can be traded away via the blockchain but in the world of crypto con cryptic conjure the more people know that particular spell the more unique owners among these 20 tokens the weaker the spell becomes. Oh that's really interesting. So the more you keep that as a secret the stronger it is and the higher value you have. That's really interesting. I like that idea. It's really unique, it's really innovative and it kind of uses the whole blockchain technology and the aspect of it on a, another level, makes it more complex. Just, just adds another layer of complexity in my opinion. Will the original player promise to only ever give away four essence in total? Oh okay, so 
great one as it's away and the spell drops from 200% power to 190, trade another and the spell drops to 185% for all three owners. And Cryptic Conjure, what is, tr was, uh, what is trust worth? Well, <laughs> that's kind of interesting speaking about the whole community of blockchain technology and cryptocurrency, obviously, where well, it's all about money. Do the other players demand some of the access? The excess, so the original creator doesn't hold all the bargaining power. Our essence, our essence is traded for other spells, for resources, for pur pure currency, for knowledge. I really like this. So there's also going to be crafting, which is going to add another layer of complexity to the whole, to the whole idea of uh, making the whole spell weaker or stronger, depending on um, how many people know about it and how many people own this particular spell. I think that's really cool, actually. Okay, definitely interested in this game. It's, might be one of the first games I actually can see a, or kind of view as a real game. And it also kind of adds um, innovation where it's needed. And just, I don't I haven't really heard about this kind of um, adoption of cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. They also have a roadmap. It's a little bit too much text, but they're probably going to change it into a more visually pleasing, kind of short, concise sentence. Uh, type of thing, maybe more animations, maybe more videos, more, more images as well. But yeah, from what I've seen so far and what I've read, it definitely is a game with a lot of a lot of potential. And I know that I say that a lot of these crypto and blockchain games, but this one definitely stands out in my opinion. Definitely check out crypticconjure.com. Going to post a link to the game in the video description. I'm also going to post a link to their Discord or Telegram channel if they have one. Do they? I don't think they do, but maybe I'm finding one um, and I'm going to post in the video description. So definitely check this game out. Talk to the developers, talk to the community, because as I always say, please don't take this video as financial advice and do make sure to do your due diligence on this game first on Cryptic Conjure before you invest and also make sure to only invest as much Ethereum as you can afford to lose. So yeah, hope you liked the video. Tell me what you think about Cryptic Conjure in the comments below. I'm really interested in your opinion, especially when it comes to this game. Do you think it has something unique to it? Do you think the whole idea and kind of promise um, of providing um, this, this, yeah, again, this uniqueness, the, this game feature that the the value of your, of your spells, of your digital assets kind of are um, in control of the majority of players, so to speak, or they're influenced by it at, at least. Um, what do you think about this whole idea? Really interested in your opinion, as I'm always um, so yeah, again, hope you like the video, hope you like the idea of Cryptic Conjure and what you've seen so far in this video, and um, I'll see you next time. Bye.